Project Wheelie Astrovan has begun. I'll show you where we got so far. So first we had to change the steering wheel and put on a 1989 Buick Century steering wheel. Reason being is the other steering wheel had a big deep plastic cup and that wouldn't permit me to get the MIG welder in there. Well, the little extension tube on to put the universal joint on that goes to the steering shaft up there. Next, remove the kick plate under the dash and there was all these wires going to a remote starter so I've marked what they do. So for example, if you put those ones together and the purple ones, so we attach yellow, red, and purple. Let's see if it starts. See? So that's what we hook to our long extended wires up our pole so we can start it up there too. And believe me, you can't get a shock off 12 volts, so don't worry. Oh, anybody want a booger? On the back end, clean the spot on the steel bumper, remove the plastic pad, and this is a place to weld the support pole that helps support the beam. That support pole. Cut a hole in the back of the roof. Well, it isn't for passing beer, it's for passing that end of the pole through when we lift it up and put it with the tractor. And then we have a couple metal brackets on the floor and we'll cut a hole in the middle of the floor, slip it through the hole, so the pole will be coming up at an angle, weld the brackets to both sides and weld them along the floor to spread out the force. Then once the main support poles all properly located and welded, then we figure out where on the roof to cut out the holes to put the pipes through or the rods through for the brakes, the gear shifter, and steering. We've already removed the roof liner and the carpet to get this job done. And because this has a column shifter that doesn't work with a cable like that Aerostar did, it has direct mechanical linkages down to the transmission, we can't use that. So we'll have to disconnect those linkages. And we cut a handy dandy uh, beer bottle disposal hole. I mean hole to run a linkage down or a bar down to the linkage on the transmission to shift the gears when we go way up there. Now this crazy contraption is just part of a tire iron and an inner tie rod end chopped off. I've removed the rubber pad on the brake pedal. Tire iron welds to the brake pedal and the tie rod end goes over here. The reason it sticks way over there is so when the shaft comes out it clears the steering wheel. So that long pole attaches to that steering wheel goes to that U-joint which attaches to that steering wheel. Gear shift lever not attached yet the wires and the brake pole. And of course we couldn't forget tunage and these seats and this seat has already had these speakers underneath of it all those years protected from the rain. That's the remains of the other seat that's been sitting outside for 10 years on this contraption. So I've replaced it with a later model General Motors minivan seat. Much better. Don't need ash protection now. Well now we're ready to pick this contraption up lower it into the hole with the tractor and then figure out where we're going to cut the hole in the floor where that end's going to touch the floor. And in typical monster garage fashion we got to test her out see how much power she's got before it's fully modified. So let's do her. Alright, let's give her a shot and see what she's got. <laughs> Little red line for a good time. Yes. Uh, that's how you do her. There you go. Little limited slippage, I guess. Maybe not posy, but did a good job. <laughs> Imagine sleeping in there tonight with all that thing. Sweet. Well, time to retire my old case tractor. She's served me well, but she don't look as good as she used to look. So I've got the solution. Two brand new tires like I mentioned. $440 installed with tax. Oh well, it's a YouTube write-off now since I can write all my equipment off with my YouTube income. And definitely this tractor is an expense for me because it maintains everything on the farm and my portable tow truck. Okay, let's get her done. It does hurt to spend money. That definitely cut into my beer fund. 
We need beer to replace the money we spent on this. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll have to help you lift it up, but I first have to take the cap off and put some more lube in there. We got water when we drove it in the lake in there. So I removed the bearing caps and the bearings to get the wheels off. That's a lot easier than undoing all those nuts. So I've always done it. Looks beautiful. Added a little extra grease. All set. It's good to retire my tractor. Did those other tires about 10 years ago. They were 500 each. Sweet. Time to get it in the hole. Stab that roof. <laughs> nice. Knows how to get it in first time. <laughs> Look like you're scratching the surface a bit first. <laughs> oh, you gotta get them excited, then it slips right in. <laughs> see, how that, see that? I slipped it right in, so I gotta make the second port. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, now we gotta. I think I'll act, ask for a little bit more tiltage. I, I want to go in a little bit crooked just to hit that right spot so we can uh, do those wheelies. Yeah. yeah. That'd, be, that'd be really cool. <laughs> that'd be really, really cool. <laughs> okay, so that means uh, go back a tiny bit and just sliver and gently a little more forward. Looks pretty good, you know. We'll be riding high, flying high. Yeah. Cutting and we'll be all set. Okay, I'll get the torches. <laughs> oh no, Dave's got the torches, look out! <laughs> I'm mad with fire. <laughs> yeah, you oh. burned your ass last time. <laughs> yeah, everybody told me I had a hot ass. <laughs> it just was a little browner than it always is. <laughs> yeah. Mad scientist at work. I sure hope there's no fuel lines under here. Oh yeah. Plastic fuel tank. There's something right there. Bracket or something, let's cut it. Oh. Well, time to get in the second hole. Oh well, uh -oh. I guess I'm gonna use the tractor to do a push on that one. Yeah, I have the same problem, Dave. The hole's just always too tight. The second hole always is. Well, we'll get her in, one way or another. You have the hammer ready to out pound it in if necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're tag teaming this one in, eh? <laughs> you know? Okay, we're ready for disconnect. Stay there and go.
Separation is complete! <laughs> Hope you wore your protection. <laughs> Cool. So she's all ready for the test drive. It's 7.05 in the evening on Thursday, July 8th or 9th or something. Haven't got the controls and rods hooked up yet, but good enough to see what it feels like if Rick drives it or I sit up there, or vice versa. Now the rear bumpers on these things are just for looks. They're so floppy. So I had to weld in some U-channel to the main portion of the body then some more steel to support the rear bumper to support my rear pole that stops the pole from bouncing because when that pole bounces it pulls on those rods and changes your gears pulls on the throttle stuff like that and it gives you a really crazy scary ride <laughs> 